Do you know what one of my pet peeves is? <laughs> my name is Shauna Anderson Newt, president of Spitfire Advertising, and we help our clients build relationships with their target audience using promotional products as that vehicle to create those experiences to turn handshakes into hugs. And one of my pet peeves is, <sighs> it happens all the time, probably daily. I have a client come to me, they have an event, and they're like, hey, I want to do a pen. So can you give me some ideas for a little click pen? You know, my budget's like this big and I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. Or I'll do a little stick pen. And I say, you're wasting your money on that? Why would you waste your money on that? Because you're not going to achieve your objective. What is your objective? Is it just to go to the trade show and give away something? Or is your objective to get in front of your target audience, to give them something that helps you be remembered, to help you build a relationship with them, to show that you're different? Let's look at this from your prospect's eyes. So they're at a trade show. And just imagine there's a whole line of you and your competitors. And they went to the first booth, and they get a pen, and the second booth, and they get the same kind of pen. And then the next one, pen, maybe it's a different color, still the same, boring, pen has no value to it really except that it writes there's nothing about it that stands out is that what you're trying to achieve when you're giving away the pen no it's not because what's going to happen is the prospect is not going to pick up your pen or if they are that's a pen that's going to be sitting on their desk in the sea of sameness with all the other boring pens that they don't really care about they're going to give it to their kid they'll give it to a co-worker they'll do something with it, but it's not their pen. It's like their mm, pen that, you know, I don't really have another pen, so I'm gonna grab this pen. Our attention spans are less than a goldfish. Yeah, that means nowadays that somebody has to see our branding, our message, seven to 12 times before they even remember you. If they have that inexpensive little pen that you just gave away like all your competitors are doing at the show or whatever your, your objective is, whatever your project is, your event, it's not gonna be remembered. It's gonna take forever for you to hit those seven to 12 times, if ever. So instead, you want to choose an item, in this case we're talking pens, that's gonna make you memorable, to make you stand out, to show that you have quality items, to show that you care, to really start moving the relationship forward from being a prospect to a client. So I wanna show you some examples to today of pens that can help you achieve that. You ready? Let's dive in. So are you an eco-friendly business? If you are, remember the item you choose should be in alignment with your brand, with your target audience, what they want, and if you're doing an event, in alignment with what the event is. So say it's an eco-friendly trade show, or you're an eco-friendly company, or you know that your prospect, your ideal client is eco-friendly. This is a cool pen for you to do. I remember when these first came out, I love these pens, and I think this one, the first came out, the first one I saw was like this blue pen. Now look at all the different colors, and these are all different ink colors. The tops of here are the ink color, branded, you know what's awesome about these pens? These are made from water bottles. Is that so cool? It gets people pop talking, gets their attention. People love these. So if you're an eco-friendly company or your target audience is eco-friendly or the event you're doing is eco-friendly, maybe it's just Earth Day, give out this type of pen. Stand out from your competition. There's also these fun pens made out of, like this one's made out of recycled currency. There's ones that are made out of denim. There's ones that are made out of corn. There's other pens that we can do too that are fun, eco-friendly, that are different, that get people talking. We also know that what makes you more memorable is enticing and engaging the senses. So if you're trying to engage the senses, you know that a pen, they're looking at it, so that's the sight, and they're touching it and they're feeling it. What about adding a smell? This is also a, an eco-friendly pen. This one is made out of recycled plastic and newspaper, and it smells really good. <laughs> you know, this, the smells can bring you back to a childhood, it can bring you back to a moment. You can have ones that, are, that smell like you know, chocolate to get you hungry. Those, these are experiences that you're creating just by adding the scent of a pen. You can do a pen that makes you makes them happy. This one has a smiley face on it. I don't know if you can see that. 
kind of the lights hitting it. Uh, okay, struggling with that, but I'll put a picture up. Is your target audience a seniors or people with arthritis or are you in the health and wellness industry and you want a pen that's really nice and friendly for the hand? Then you do a thicker pen, a pen that has the nice grip on it. This will help achieve that. And it has a bigger imprint area. You wanna do a fun pen and you need a little more imprint area as well? Well then this is the pen for you to do. This is the banner pen. How cool is that? Look at that imprint area. So you have it, when it's rolled up, it shows your branding. And then when it pulls out, you have that huge imprint area and this gets people talking about you. Are you in the health and wellness industry or do you do blood drives to help the community, to give back? This is a fun highlighter to do and it's one of the gel. So it's like the wax gel highlighter. One of my favorites, very cool but it looks like a syringe. We could also build a whole marketing campaign around this and send this out, so this is a really fun item. I don't think I have to tell you that styluses are hot. So even if you just did in more of an inexpensive pen and you add the stylus to it, the perceived value is much higher and more useful, and that's something that is sticky that people will hold on to. Okay, so kind of your basic stylus pen, the stylus at the end, usually you see it here or here. Oh, let me show you on this one. What people love about this is this metallic red. Like, look how amazing that red color is. People love that. This is a beautiful pen. Notice how the stylus matches the color of the pen. This comes in other colors. Very nice, very nice, and a good weight. You also want to look at the weight of the pen because when it's uh, really light, I had one right here. Uh, yeah, here it is. Okay. When it's really light, and I know you can't see from this, but... It, it makes you, it feels like there's no quality to it, which is representing your brand. So you don't want to choose a pen like that. Next, we have a pen that has a stylus. Notice the pretty colored stylus. And your logo lights up. And you can also personalize it. Like, see, this one has my name. Yeah, you can personalize that, which will even draw more attention to your item. You can smell that out too if you're doing like a welcome kit or you're trying to do a customer um, acquisition campaign. You can mail that out with their name on it and it really will get their attention. Here's one with a stylus on top and it has the four different ink colors. I know you've seen this kind of pen, right? You can pick all the different ink colors. Okay, let's get into some really fun pens. These are pens that you may have never seen before or if you've seen them you didn't know that they do this. So let's start with, this is a very rugged pen. It's called the Downforce by Pilot, good quality. The barrel of this is reinforced. So if this, if you're on a construction site, which is basically the, the demographic for who's gonna use this pen is people who are gonna be on construction sites or need um, a pen that works in different environments that the average pen isn't great for. This one's awesome. So if they step on this pen because it's fallen on the ground at the construction site, it's got the reinforced body so it's not going to break. And by the way, I got a killer deal on this pen right now. So if you would like more information on this, reach out to me and I'll send it to you. It also has, look how wide, let me show you a different pen. Um, look how wide this gets. So if they're, and I've been to construction sites, I've worked in the construction industry for 10 years before I started my, uh, my business here and doing promotional products. Okay, oh, so what I'm really showing you is this here. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. Because construction workers will grab like a piece of cardboard if they have nothing else to write on, this would fit over the cardboard. This will fit on the clipboard. This will fit on something else. It also has a hole to put the lanyard through so they can wear the pen. And this will work for up to 10,000 or more usages. And this writes upside down. So if they're on top of a ladder, they have this pen, they're trying to write on um, so ceiling tile or something else, they can write upside down, it'll work just fine. Also on damp surfaces. So if they're in a construction site, maybe it's being exposed to the elements, it'll write on damp surfaces as well. Very cool pen, very cool pen. This pen, this is actually probably my favorite. Uh, this pen is called the Friction by Pilot. And it's very cool. It has a highlighter version and the regular version. 
a regular pen version. So it's an erasable pen, right? Cool already in just that, but you know, we're kind of used to that now. That's something that's been around, but this is different because this erases because of the friction of the eraser. It's not, it doesn't feel like your normal eraser. And so you can go through here and you can erase. Oh my goodness, hold on, let me to get a surface where I can erase it. Okay, so as you see, there you go. You see how it erased a little bit of that? Okay, let's get this whole bad boy off. You ready? I got my lighter. Uh, yeah, there you go. Disappeared. You know what's really cool about it? If I was like, oh wait, I wanted to read that or I can send this secret message to somebody. We can have a fun marketing campaign around this. I'm actually adding this to a referral kit that I'm creating and it's like secret agent theme so it's perfect for it. So we're going to send out our quote spy pen and there's going to be a message on here and all you have to do is have your recipient put the message in the freezer for a few minutes. So honestly all I did with this one is I just set this on top of my Pyrex bowl that I had in my freezer and then I rubbed my finger over the top and that, it came back that much. If I would have left it in the freezer, it would come back a little bit more. Is that very cool? Okay, then let's talk about real quick. Let's talk about a couple other pens and then real, real quick some packaging. So this pen, look it, it's very nice, high end, heavy, beautiful feel to it and it's a laser pointer. Can you see that? Whoop, laser pointer. Okay. This is a beautiful, beautiful pen that I just received at a women's conference that I went to in our industry. Look how beautiful that is. You know what's really nice about it? It's like the look at the lines of it. So know who your target audience is. What are they gonna want? And give them that. So looking at packaging. So packaging for the laser pen or another pen, you can do a nice silver case. We can imprint on them. And there it sets. This adds a higher perceived value to it. You can also do like a black box. So it would look like this. They open it up inside. Nice, beautiful black background. Looks really high end, especially when you put a beautiful pen in there. You can also send it out like this in this kind of package and the pens inside. And these you can also stick a little note inside if you wanted to to make, add a little fun to it. So those are my ideas for you for pens today. Think about your target audience, think about your brand and how can you tie this into the project that you're working on. This are the things that I know aren't easy for you, but I'm doing it all day long and I would love to help you with it. So let me know what projects you're working on. Let me know what you have in your pipeline right now you have coming up that you need help with, whether it's a marketing campaign, customer acquisition, trade shows. You know, we'll look at different pens or maybe some other items that will be a good fit for you. Remember, be in alignment with you, your brand, your target audience, and the project, the event that you're giving that away at, and find that pen that's right for you. Don't just look at being in the sea of sameness, as I call it, and doing this little pen that just because it's inexpensive, because that's not gonna get you the results that you want, and I want you to have the results that you want, the ones that you're really going after, and having the right promotional product as the vehicle to do that is what changes the game. So again, my name is Shauna Anderson New, president of Spitfire Advertising. So reach out to me, let me know how I can help you. And if you're watching this on YouTube, then subscribe to our channel. That's where you're gonna get more marketing tips to help grow your business and take it to the next level. If you need anything else, just let me know. And remember to smile, because happy looks good on you. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.